Haley Noble. Hi, everyone. I am truly honored and deeply humbled to be standing on behalf of the graduating class of 2015. Four short years ago, I was faced with a big decision. I just completed high school at an art school in sunny Miami, Florida, where I played violin for hours and hours every day. <laughs> Music at the time seemed to be the path I would pursue, but then I visited Columbia to see what it could offer. Columbia assured me I can immerse myself in both teaching and the arts. After experiencing the first week of classes, as well as enjoying living in a vibrant, exciting city, it was clear that I had made the right choice. During my time here, I have come to love the city of Chicago, become the person I am today, and have been surrounded by people who are in their element simply because they love what they do. I am proudly representing the Small But Mighty Early Childhood Education Program. <laughs> Columbia's approach to education will help change the way children are educated in the future. Our approach centers on the importance of using art, movement, sculpture, music, as a vehicle for children to learn about the world, to engage and communicate. This idea of expressing through the arts has a strong correlation to what we represent at Columbia. Every department views art as a shared experience, a shared desire to communicate and connect with each other in the world. Columbia is a creative powerhouse. Columbia connects with the interests, talents, and learning styles of every student. It is a place that believes we aren't just a number, but individuals with our own ideas, mind, and vision. My peers and I in education view children as capable and competent. I would like to share part of a poem, No Way the Hundred is There, from which our philosophy stems. The child is made of 100. The child has 100 languages, 100 hands, 100 thoughts, a hundred ways of thinking, of playing, of speaking. A hundred, always a hundred. The hundred languages represent the endless number of children's potentials. The hundred reminds us that there are multiple ways of seeing and multiple ways of being. This holds true for adults as well. Just like children, we have the ability to express our thinking, theories, ideas, and learning, and emotions in many ways. I was watching preschoolers play outside when all of a sudden, three-year-old Jack ran over to the fence and yelled, look! Jack and his friends rushed over to the fence, jumped as high as they could, and grabbed a rolled up piece of paper that was placed in the fence. It was a delivery menu for a restaurant, and they were thrilled. <laughs> the rest of the children quickly hurried over and looked at this menu in astonishment. They sat under a tree and figured out which meals they would share, discussed the different prices, how they would get the money, and took each other's orders. This discovery sparked the idea for children to create their own menus. And through this menu making, they were expressing their thinking, ideas, learning, and theories in a way that was unique and exciting. The children in this story taught me something huge. We need to view the, the world through a child's eyes more often. Children are interested in learning as much as they can, share experiences with one another, and naturally have a positive attitude towards things because everything is new. In the rush of daily life, we look at much, but we see very little. We must allow ourselves to be captivated and moved in our day-to-day -day life. Reminding ourselves to see with new lenses can allow us to experience wonder, beauty, and joy. We all go into professions for many reasons, security, money, status. But some people, us here today, have experiences that turn a career into a calling. Our experiences have happened right here at Columbia or through a hands-on experience related to our field. I'm certain that everyone here today has had experiences that have brought clarity and helped us realize we are where we need to be. These are beautiful experiences. All that matters is living up to the standard of excellence you have set for yourself in your craft not anybody else's. Students at Columbia are willing to work with all kinds of people, push through hesitation, and do nothing but our very best work because we have each found something we care deeply about or we wouldn't be crossing the stage today. If you talk to any student graduating today, you will quickly notice that our ambition runs deep. So deep, we can be found literally running for our lives trying to catch a train just to make it to class on time. We've all been there. As we walk across this stage today, 
many of us now face major decisions. Some of us know where we are going, but no doubt many might not feel certain as to what the next steps are that we should take or where we will end up next. What matters throughout this period of time is remembering what has brought us here today. I'm not standing up here as valedictorian by myself. I've been shaped by my environment, especially my peers. They have been my backbone throughout my journey at Columbia and deserve this honor just as much as I do. Everyone graduating today is an active forward thinker who is here with the support of others. As we embark on our own paths, we will always share something special. And let's face it, if we can make it through Chicago winters, we really can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Moving forward, we must remember to stay alive and involved. We must continue to express ourselves by doing what makes us happy. We must continue to see things with new lenses. We must build our lives not by being better than others, but by being better than we used to be. This outlook towards life will give us moments of bliss. These are the people we want to be. I wish everyone the very best. It's time for a new beginning. Congratulations, graduates of 2015. We did it. Thank you. Excellence is what Columbia College Chicago is all about. Haley Noble, hallelujah, holla back, congratulations to ya. <laughs> I'm having a good time up here, what can I say? Advertising and public